When shots rang out in Deep Ellum last month, witnesses say it sounded like this. I just thought, da, 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 I was like, oh, it just sounded like a like a damn machine gun. That's because Dallas police sources say one of the suspects used a semi-automatic gun that had been converted into a machine gun using a small device called a machine gun converter kit. It makes it a fully automatic machine gun. So instead of just pulling the trigger once for a bullet, you hold the trigger once and the whole magazine will go out. We went out with ATF for a demonstration on how fast they can fire. Only one agent with years of experience was allowed to shoot the weapon. This is a full magazine on full auto. How many rounds are on it? 15 rounds. He had on protective gear and used ammo that law enforcement uses in order to have better control of the weapon. Typically, even SWAT teams don't use machine guns on fully automatic, okay? Because they are hard to control, they're unstable. ATF special agent in charge, Jeff Boshek, says it can shoot dozens of rounds in one second. I've been an ATF agent for over 20 years. It's the scariest thing I've seen in my time as an ATF agent. The device is a small piece of metal or plastic that goes on the back of a semi-automatic gun. Some people might think, hey, it's just a little piece of plastic. What, what's the big deal about this? Oh, it's a big deal because it, it can seriously injure and cause tremendous casualties to the citizens. The devices were once imported from China. Now people are making them at home in 40 minutes with a 3D printer. Dirt cheap. I mean, you make these things for a quarter and they're selling, typically we're paying about 400 to $500 a piece for these things. The device makes the gun unstable. Even trained ATF SWAT members have trouble controlling it. So a bad guy firing one into a crowd sends bullets flying everywhere, like in the Deep Ellum shooting. Five people were shot, some of them innocent bystanders. Evelyn and Glenn Logan were selling barbecue when two suspects started shooting at each other. So many shots going off. We just, everybody ducked up on the truck and the trailers and just tried to get out the way. For those caught in the middle of the shooting, it was terrifying. It was very fearful. You know, because you never know when you're going to be next. You never know. I mean, bullets don't have a name on it. They definitely don't have a name on it. So you never know when you're going to be the next, you know, victim. Each converter device is considered a machine gun, and they are illegal, and it could land you anywhere from five to ten years in prison if you're caught with one. The ATF says if you see one of these small devices, call them. They are dangerous and could hurt a lot of people. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.